Hey everyone, it's John here with Smart Dots Robotic Solutions. And today we're gonna to show you the difference between a wired unit and an e-post unit. We've got one of our demos here. It's a 450X. This is our wired unit we're gonna show you today. And then this is a 550 e-post. It's pretty much the same as the 450 e-post. It's just commercial, so it's orange. All right, now let's start with the exterior. As you can uh, plainly see, the top is gonna to be different on both of these. We've got a control panel here. We've got a, it's a little bit dirty. It's been out in the field. You got your buttons and everything. This one, as you can see, no buttons. Just a simple small stop button, start button. Uh, and the reason it needs this room is all your GPS capability, your e-post communication is gonna be right here. <clears throat> now they do look a little bit different in height and that is because that is that is uh, all packed into right here. And the wheels on this are gonna be a half inch bigger. Not a real big difference, but uh, you know, just something to know. Now the bottom of these bad boys looks the exact same. We've got the same cutting assembly, the same uh, front wheels. Everything's going to be the same on both of these. As you can see, same everything under here. Now we've removed the top cover on both of these units and you can really start to see the differences. Now this big dome here uh, on the top chassis is completely different than this one because it's got these two little hubs here that are for communicate with the satellite and the reference station. Got some wires coming out of here that you don't out of over here. And obviously, like I stated earlier, this uh, stop button is gonna be a little bit different. Now let's compare the top chassis. This is gonna be the most different part of these mowers right here. And as you can see, they are completely different. You do have a uh, comm board of both of these that are the same, except they're different placements. Now here you've got the RTK GN GNSS board, and that's gonna be your satellite board with getting the accuracy and the connection between the reference station and the satellite. The HMI boards are completely different. As you can see, this has got a bunch of stuff plugged into it. There's a lot of things happening over here. And this has a slightly less, it's a little more simplified. And on the back of that is gonna be the screen uh, down right over here. <clears throat> now, uh, as you can see up here on these top chassis, you've got the same sensors. Everything's the same to an extent, right? All right, now let's discuss the bottom chassis. This is where you're really going to see a lot of similarities. Uh, for instance, even though this isn't a wired mower, it still has a loop sensor board like the wired mower does over here. Um, the batteries are actually the same. These are old style batteries, they're just the new type cells. Now, other similarities, similarities are going to be the wheel motors. As you can see, they're the exact same. The cutting motor, the cutting height motor, even these boards are the same on uh, both of these mowers. So they're almost identical. There's a slight difference in the motherboards so the T7 and a T14. Uh, overall, they are very, very similar. Now, in conclusion, these two may seem like very similar mowers, and that may raise the question, uh, hey, if I have my 450X and I wanted to upgrade it into an e-post, could I do that? Yes, in theory, you could. Now, the price of the chassis, all the boards, and the updates and time you're gonna put into it aren't going to make this a cost-effective option. So I would always suggest getting a brand new mower. You're gonna get a lot more longevity out of a new e-post unit. You're gonna know that everything's updated and you're just gonna get a lot more for your uh, time and effort. Now, another question you may ask uh, could be if this EPOS unit has a loop sensor board, uh, could I maybe use it in conjunction with a wired area? Maybe you've got a EPOS way out in the big pas pasture in front of your house and you want it to go under all the trees near the house. Uh, it does have the hardware to do that, but we haven't received an update for something like that. Whether it's a 450X, a smaller unit, or maybe a big EPOS unit. Just make sure that you go to smart-dots.com or call us if you got any questions. We would love to uh, answer anything you can come up with. That's smart-dots.com. Feel free to follow us and uh, watch out for more content.